Welcome. Welcome to the session. Move to the side. So this will be a quick session. I recently noticed that uh, people who, especially who started the decision science or data science journey, are struggling with calculations or statistics or uh, mathematical calculations, especially while building a decision tree using C four point five or uh, the Ada Boost calculation for Ada Boost or identifying the information gain or Gini index or calculating even chi squared. So there are a lot of calculations going on, and if you are not an expert in Python. You will have to do it all through statistics. So in this session, we'll see how we can formulate all these things in less than two minutes. But right to the session. So in for this demo, we'll be using uh, hard disk's prediction data set, which is available in uh, Kaggle, which is downloaded from Kaggle. So I'm downloading file from data. Uh, if you are new to Orange, or if you are first time to Orange. Feel free to go through my other YouTube videos where I have explained Orange and how to configure and install Orange. Coming to this, so I'm importing the hard disk's prediction data set, skipping the index or ID values, and uh, assigning the target value, which is definitely the hard disk's whether a patient is uh, having hard disk's or not, absence or presence. We'll start with. Uh, Future statistics like getting the mean, median, uh, min, minimum value, maximum value, and plotting the different features. So what we have done is we have went to data, just went to uh, feature statistics, dragged it and dropped it, and connected data with data. So I think this is, there is only one input and uh, on and one output for file, so it was pretty straightforward. And there you go. You double click it. You have all the information: the distribution for all the features, the mean value, the median value, the dispersion, minimum value, the maximum value, and the most interesting thing: whether there are any missing values or not. Fortunately, for this data set, it's complete, and we don't have any missing value. If you have any missing value, there is something called impute, where you can impute those value, uh, missing values. Now we have the feature statistics for each of the variables, the distribution of values for each of the variables. Now, if you want to compare the distribution or compare the correlation of any of these values with a categorical value, you have something called distribution in Visualize. So, if you go to Visualize, there is something called distribution. Drag it, drop it, connect file with it, boom, you go. So you can split or Identify the correlation with any of these values with the target value. So basically, it's grouping stuff. So even if you are going with a, a numerical value, it's grouping different ranges with the split value. You can identify the correlation or distribution between each of the features and the target variable. That's not it. If you want to draw a heat map, you have a heat map here. Drag, drop, and connect. Boom! There you go. Heat map of uh, hard disks with all the features. Now comes the most Im important or interesting part: how to draw a decision tree for this particular data. So. If you are doing it manually, you have a lot of things to consider, right? Entropy, calculating the gain, and then deriving uh, C4.5 or using CART. What you can do is, if you go to model, there is something called tree here. There are a lot of other options like logistic regression or Ada Boost. All the options are available here. But uh, to start off with, we'll start with decision tree. So there is something called tree here. What I'll do is I'll just drag it and drop it here. The order is irrelevant. Only the flow is relevant. So connect. Data with data, the tree might have more than one input, so make sure you are connecting data with data. We have some uh, flexibility in tuning the model here, and once you are done, just go to visualize and drag and drop the tree viewer to see the magic. Boom! There you go. So a beautiful tree. I guess this is 4.5 created here. can do it for classes like the tree only for absence class where 
everything is positive or the uh, presence class so we have 63 nodes and 32 leaves here uh, created for this particular decision tree if you are uh, interested in understanding the correlation between each of these variables what you can do is you can drag and drop correlations here connect the data and there you go we have pearson's correlation or spearman correlation you can do it for any of these numerical variables and identify the correlation between uh, this variables numerical variable uh, the whatever the variable you have selected with all other features if you want to find the uh, chi square test variables or information gain connect it with rank and there you go the information gain ratio the gini of all the variables so you can try it out uh, there are a lot of other uh, important or uh, interesting aspects here in orange try it out and if you have any queries please drop your comments thanks for watching this video have a nice day